In this video, I'm going to talk about problem P1D. Uh, it's, a pro it's a program which requires you to print out some numbers, uh, its squares, and a, a random number between the number and its square. So we're getting some practice with um, the math.random, and actually this uh, program will use the for loop. Um, so the basic idea behind this is using a for loop to print out numbers and printing its squares. And in the for loop, we're going to have one line of code. It's going to be a print statement, which is going to print a number separated with a tab and the square of the number. And we're actually going to have another thing here for the um, uh, random number. And I'll talk about some formatting issues that we'll look at, that I'll look at when I check homework. So let's take a look at how to do this. <clears throat> so I have a template set up for uh, this program, P1D, I call it numbers. Notice what I have uh, for spacing, I have one, two, three for my spacing, and then the P lines up with that in public, one, two, three. So I have even spacing there, and also I have this uh, parenthesis spacing between uh, letters or numbers and the parentheses, okay? So let's go ahead and create our for loop that, that does this. A for loop is nice because um, it's going to allow us to have just one print statement as opposed to 10 or even, let's say we wanted to go to 100, 100 print statements. So I'll say for, and the first thing we do, again, is we initialize. In this case, I'll say int counter. We'll have a counter. Um, and I'm not using the word index because index is for arrays, which we'll talk about later. Uh, then I'm going to have counter less than 10. So I'll do 10 numbers now, but we can always change that. And counter plus plus. And that plus plus means add 1. 1, 2, 3. Get this thing lined up. And 4. Okay. So again, always put this comment right when you do it, or else you'll forget later and it won't get in there. So I'm going to have one line of code. I'm going to have system dot out dot print line, which is a print statement. And I'm going to print the number, counter. I'm going to print counter. Then I'll print, let's see, I'll give myself a tab. That's backslash T is a tab code. And then I'll say counter times counter. So that's the number squared, all right? So let's get this to work first, and let's see uh, what happens here. Notice I have the parentheses spacing as well, all right? No errors. Close it up. Let's run it. And that's good. I get the numbers uh, 0 through 9. Now, we actually want 1 through 10, but I'll leave that part to you to figure out how to get 1 through 10. But the more interesting thing is the, the third column. So I'm going to add a tab here, backslash t plus. Now, I know we can get random numbers. We can go math.random like this. Um, and let's see what happens when we run it. Compile it, but it looks good. So I get some random numbers. A couple things wrong with it. We don't know uh, what range it's in. We want it to be between these two numbers exclusive, inclusive. And then it's got decimal points, which these don't. So we have two problems to solve here. So the first problem is this. Um, it's not a real problem. It's, it's how math.random works. Math.random returns a double between 0 and 0 0.9999. 99999. So we can never get to that uh, number one. However, we can scale math.random by multiplying by a number. So what if I do this? What if I go five times that? Okay, can I get bigger numbers there? Let's compile it. Looks good. So I'm multiplying to scale it, scale it to be bigger. So it looks like my numbers are bigger. All right. Um, and then I can also shift numbers. I can actually, I can, we can shift math.random by adding a number. So I can say, I'll say 10 plus, and use order of operation there. Notice I have these spaces between the parentheses. Okay, you can start to see that. So I'm going to take math.random, multiply by 5, and then add 10 to it. So I can shift it. Uh, if I close it and run it. So I can, now they're bigger. So I can shift the number. Okay. Finally, we have decimal points in it, which I don't necessarily want. Um, there's something called casting, like we can cast iron. And I'll just uh, take these parentheses out for a second. I can use what's called casting to temporarily turn it into an integer. It's a double. It's got decimal points. But if I say int, I'll say, hey, take this thing 
and I want to temporarily make it an int. I can cast it into something else, like I can cast metal into a sword. If I cast this thing into an int, so I'll run it here, compile. I can get rid of the decimal point, so uh, I can, I've cast it into an integer, I've got rid of it. You could also create a variable that holds an integer and put it in there, but then that's creating other variables. But casting is a nice little feature that allows you to get rid of decimal points um, on the fly there. So, um, this one line of code does it. What you're going to have to figure out is how I'm going to scale or shift this number so that I get numbers between my number and number squared inclusive, knowing that math.random gives me a number between 0 and 0.9999. Okay, and then again, this is nice because I can change this to 100 now, 100 numbers or 1,000, and just by changing that, I can get a whole bunch of numbers. I can get a whole different uh, bunch of combinations, and then um, test that. So that's a hint on P1D uh, with the um, printing numbers in columns, a number, a number squared, and a, a random number between these two numbers inclusive.